Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for January 12 through to January 14. A powerful 7.3 magnitude earthquake is recorded off the west coast of northern Sumatra earlier today. I'm expecting with recent solar telemetry and a large coronal hole formation, we may be receiving another 7 magnitude earthquake during this watch. Now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE, where we see the interplanetary magnetic field has been perturbed quite violently. This is reflected on the solar wind density and also a sharp rise in solar wind speed to 480 km a second. And this is due to the back end of the coronal hole formation CH491 that moved away from the Earth facing position. Now we should see over the next 12 to 24 hours another jump in solar wind speed as we have another coronal hole formation CH492 having its influence on the Earth. We're now looking at the Australian Pulsation PC3 index where we see a significant reading of 9 was recorded on the 9th of January. Now this is significant as this signalled the possibility of a 6.5 plus magnitude earthquake was coming in the coming days and this was proven correct with a 7.3 magnitude earthquake occurring in northern Sumatra 35 hours after this reading was recorded. We're now looking at another significant reading from the Australian Pulsation PC3 index which was recorded 3 hours after the earthquake that occurred earlier today in northern Sumatra. Now this is an issue as we may receive another significant earthquake based on this spike in the coming days and it's definitely worth keeping a close note of. We're now looking at the Solar Terrestrial Activity Report via Solon.info where we see two significant coronal hole formations that have been classified on this service. CH492 is moving through the Earth facing position and will have its influence over the next 24 to 72 hours with a significant earthquake potential and is also another coronal hole formation that will be rotating through the Earth facing position in around 3 to 5 days time. We're now looking at the southern hemisphere with the SDO composite and focusing on this large coronal hole formation. Now we do see a strong solar disturbance immediately ahead of this coronal hole and a large flash on the SDO satellite which is a concern. This may be indicative of a strong seismic shock or a powerful earthquake over the next 2-3 to three days. Attached to this coronal hole formation is a very long magnetic filament which goes right across the solar corona. So I feel there may be a potential of a fairly large earthquake in the coming days due to this coronal hole formation moving away from the earth facing position and related solar disturbance. Now looking at a 193 angstrom image with solar monitor and focusing on the southern hemisphere and this coronal hole. Now I have isolated 20 to 25 degrees south latitude as a main area of focus and I will plot a map some regions now. The South Pacific Islands are my number one area of concern for this watch as there is a strong solar symmetry indicating that this region on Earth may be affected from this coronal hole formation with the main area of concern being the Loyalty Islands region or to its east the regions of Tonga and Fiji. This will be the number one areas of concern and that's the South Pacific Islands. And my second area of concern for this watch is for the regions in South America or more specifically Tarapaca Chile, Antofagasta Chile or the region of Jujai, Argentina. These will be the second and final areas of concern for this watch. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures. The main reading showing up for this week seem to be in the southern hemisphere which does coincide with this coronal hole formation. We do have a strong reading showing up in the Kermatic Islands, south of Fiji and also south of the Tonga regions. There's also a reading in the Mid-Indian Ridge or the South Pacific Ocean. These are main areas of focus in terms of outgoing long wave radiation anomalies for this watch. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for January 11, 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.